Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Pokemon Heart Gold Wedlock Challenge. In the last episode, we cleared through pretty much everything and made it all the way to Cinnabar Island. And then rode, o rode over to the Seafoam Islands and fought the 7th Gym Leader of Kanto. We faced off against Blaine and we won with no problems. We still, as of right now, have not lost anybody in Kanto. Nobody has died in Kanto. At least, not yet. Because this episode is going to be 100% the final gym leader of the game. And perhaps the most dangerous trainer we have fought yet. This is the final fight. As you can see, everybody is level 60. That is the level limit. There's not really a level limit, but that's a good level to be at for um, fighting blue. And I got everybody level 60. I didn't have to train. I did that fighting all the trainers in that montage at the end of last episode. If you missed that, they all were level 60 at the end of it. And it's really sketchy. This is a big deal. If we beat him with nobody dying, this is the final six. The six Pokemon that I have on the team after I beat him are the final six Pokemon. There is no battles after him other than the last battle in the game. This is a big deal. I'm really scared. I don't know how it's going to go. I have a strategy. I'm not going to fight any of the trainers inside of the gym because I don't want to go over level 60 and because they're dangerous. Uh, I just, this is one of the gyms I don't fight everybody in. And I'm just going to go in and fight him. And I'll explain my strategy when we're fighting against him. So, this is a big deal. And here goes nothing. Let's enter. Here we are, let's go ahead and talk to the legend in the making. Yo legend in the making, the floor here is unstable, so you should put away your Pokemon now. The gym leader is the guy who battled the champion three years ago. He is no pushover, give it everything you've got. Yeah, so you have to put your Pokemon away, kind of like in Claire's gym. And blue doesn't have a type specialty, like red does, not like red, um, like all the other gym leaders. So, he can be a big time wild card, you really... It's scary. Um, I'm going to try and go through here without fighting anybody. Yeah, you go this way. Yeah? Okay. Uh, then you go... Uh... Um... This is a tough one. I got to do this the right way. Or I will be in trouble. Um... Right here. Okay, yeah. I just, I, it's kind of confusing. It's hard to see in here for me anyways. Uh... Then you would go up. Yep. All right. And then you take this red one. Yep. All right. That'll take me to the other platform. And then I take this red one. Yeah. And that'll put me on that. And then I believe you take the one all the way to the right. Please. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. We're good. Oh, my gosh. This is sketchy, guys. Here we are. Oh, my God. I have to get a drink real so give me a second. This is, I know. Pause it right now. You guys, you guys will see it right now. All right, guys. Here we go. We can't talk to our Pokemon we're leading with because you have to have your Pokemon put away. So this is just between me and Blue. There's nothing else I can say right now other than let's do this. Yo, finally got here, huh? I wasn't in the mood at Cinnabar, but now I'm ready to battle you. <sighs> You're telling me you conquered all the gyms in Johto? Ha! <laughs> Johto's gyms are that pathetic? Hey, don't worry about it. I'll know if you're good or not by battling you right now. 16th and final gym leader of the Pokemon Heart Gold Wedlock versus Blue, the 8th and final gym leader of Kanto. This is it. Right here, right now. Let's do this. First up, battle animations are off. <laughs> Give me a second. <laughs> Damn. I'm a scumbag. Oh my gosh. I turned off battle animations. I can't believe I did that. I am a scum lord. Here we go. Let's do this for real this time. First up is Exeggutor. Grass Psychic type. Level 55. And we're leading with Omelette. All right. This is the strategy. Omelette is leading, and Omelette is holding the choice specs. And Lasagna is holding the magnet. 
Omelette and Lasagna both have different attacks now. Omelette, your moves are Air Slash, Aura Sphere, Water Pulse, and Silver Wind. And Lasagna, well, actually, is the same. Never mind. My strategy! <laughs> Blast this Exeggutor before it can set up Trick Room. And we're gonna do it right now. Silver Wind! Will this Silver Wind be enough? I'm relying on this big. If it's not, we might get the boost, which really isn't gonna do us anything. Because we're gonna be stuck in the Silver Wind, and it is gonna be enough. Great work, Omelet! See you later, Exeggutor! Oh boy, what's next? Not right on. Oh my god, it's right on. Okay, I have to change my strategy right now. Water Pulse is for Rhydon, but it looks like we have to do something different. I hope Lasagna can do it. Come on back, Omelette. Let's go, Lasagna. You're without the choice specs. Are you able to one-shot this Rhydon? We're about to find out. Rhydon, Rock Ground type, level 58. You have to one-shot it with Magical Leaf. You've got to do it. Hit it. It's 60 power. It's such a weak attack. Four times effective. Will it be enough? I don't think it will. And we're going to get blasted. It was. It was a crit. That was a crit. That crit really might have mattered. Oh my god. Somebody tell me if that mattered. Next up's my champ. Mmm, that's tough. Yes, I'm going to stay in. All right, next up, Machamp, Fighting Type, level 56. Lasagna, once again, you've got to blast it. You've got to hit it now. Psychic! You've got to be strong enough to take this thing out. Please, because we're going to get... No, it's not enough. Stone Edge! Oh my god, our defense is so low. I was going to put on the Focus Sash, but I didn't. Lasagna, yes! There you go! Okay, Psychic, take this Machamp out of here oh man I was so worried that was gonna kill my heart my hands are shaking my pounding everything okay what is next not Pidget not Pidget not Pidget Arcanine great oh wait that's why what we have water pulse that's right all right come on back lasagna I need your help once again let's go omelet all right next up it's Arcanine fire type level 58 we had no counter for a fire type that is why I gave Omelette Water Pulse. Omelette, you've got to do enough damage to knock it out. And if not, at least confuse it. Water Pulse! 40% chance to confuse. We've got the choice specs. Can we knock it out in one hit? Not quite. No confusion either. Flare Blitz. Oh my god. My life is flashing before my eyes. Come on, Omelette. No! That's gonna... Okay. Okay. This is a big deal. This is bad. If I don't heal, he could hit me with extreme speed and kill me right here. But he's in red. I, I think he's gonna heal. We've gotta rely on that. He did heal. Great. Okay. Oh god. If we heal and it flare blitz and it crits, we're dead. Water pulse! Take it out. Confuse it. Confuse it. Confuse it. It's a 40% chance. Serene Grace makes it 40%. There we go! We confused that Arcanine! Okay, now what we really need is for it to hurt itself. We're gonna use healing item number one of the fight. We're gonna use a Max Potion on Omelette. Hurt yourself. This would be a really good thing to happen right now. It would save me a big fear of getting blasted. Withdraw! What?! Why would you withdraw? Oh my god. Why would he withdraw? Oh my god, that confusion might have killed me. Okay, next up is Gyarados. Water flying type, level 52. And we're trapped into Water Pulse. I'm really scared of what this thing is. Oh my god, Lasagna is half dead. I can't switch. Okay, this just got real. I'm going to use healing item number two, a max potion on Lasagna. I have to heal Lasagna, and I've got to switch in in Thunderbolt. That's my only chance right now. Dragon Dance. Oh, my God! It knows Dragon Dance! Oh, my God. He could sweep me. He could literally kill every Pokemon that I have. Omelet, you've got to get out of there. Come back, Omelet. Lasagna, you've got to take whatever it hits you with. Please, you will die here. Ice Fang, okay. 
that boosted with the Dragon Dance. Don't freeze me. Okay. Guys, this is gonna come down to this. It's, it's, a, speed, it's a speed thing. Dragon Dance, we're eight levels higher. Lasagna, you have to hit it right now or you will die here. You will die right now if you do not outspeed this Gyarados. Yes! Thunderbolt! Yes! Oh my god, I thought Lasagna was dead. I thought Lasagna was gone. Oh my god, my heart. You've got to kill it. Or... Oh, yes. Gyarados is down. Oh my god, please not pitch it. Anything but pitch it. Arcanine, great. Okay. Well, yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 No. Can I outspeed an Arcanine? That's a big risk. There's no reason for it. Come on back, Lasagna. Let's go, Omelette. I know it's weak. I should have stayed in. Thunderbolt, I wasn't sure if I'd outspeed. It can't extreme speed me. I wasn't taking the risk. I could not do that. Okay. Hopefully it doesn't extreme speed me then. Now, this is a tough one. If I stay in Aura Sphere, I'll be locked into that. You know, I'm going to change my strategy. And I'm going to go for Air Slash. We hit. Good. That's gotta take it out. There's no way it doesn't. Yeah, great. Crit doesn't matter. Alright, we're good. He has one Pokemon left! And that's his ace! It's Pidgeot! I know it's Pidgeot. I say Pidgeot because that's me. I'm weird. Now, this is a problem. We go into Lasagna, who is supposed to take this thing down, and we Thunderbolt. However... Hmm... <sighs> I'm weak, and if I heal up Lasagna, it might go for Whirlwind. And who knows what problems that's going to cause me. This is a big decision, and this could be the de deciding factor on if somebody dies here. Omelette stays in an Air Slash as we get it with Return. I don't think it's going to take me out. Am I faster than Pidgeot? I might be. This is really hard. You know what? I am going to stay in. His final Pokemon. It's his ace. Pidgeot. Normal flying type. Level 60. <laughs> You're unprepared for this. We'll knock you down. Not gonna happen, Blue. We must win this. For all of the Pokemon that died. All 14 that have died before this very fight. Every single one of them. We must win this. Omelette. Air Slash. We're faster. Just deal a decent chunk. I know it's not going to be half. It is over half. It's over half. Flinch it. Flinch it. Flinch it. It's like a 40% chance. Flinch! Wait, we might not be faster. It might be... Whoa. Okay, it flinched. It might be trying to use Whirlwind. It might be trying to use Whirlwind. Omelette, you've got to take it out! Not quite. It flinched again. Perhaps I'm the one who was unprepared. That's right, Blue! This fight is... I might not want to finish that sentence. He healed. Just just keep calm. And st no. A 5% chance to miss, and we missed with Air Slash. We missed. Oh my god. Air Slash, you've got to connect. And you've got to flinch. That's my only chance, is if we can make this thing flinch. There we go, it flinched. Omelette, Air Slash. That's what I'm talking about. See you later, Pidgeot, and gr great fight, Blue! And with that, Omelette grew to level 61. And that's it. We defeated Blue. Nobody died. This is the real power of Johto. That's right, Blue! It is the real power of Johto! Oh, oh we did it! Yes! No way. How the heck did I lose to you? Uh, all right, here, take this. It's the Earth Badge, and we get the Earth Badge, the final badge of the game from Blue. With that badge, you'll be able to use the HM move Rock Climb. Can anybody learn Rock Climb? Whoa! Oh. <laughs> That's bad. Uh, here, take this as well, and we get TM92, Trick Room. Oh, it contains Trick Room. It allows slower Pokemon to move before faster Pokemon for a while. It's a very tricky move, isn't it? Hence the name. Omelet! 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 Yes, it worked! We did it! 
these six Pokemon, Omelette, Lasagna, Wings, Panzanella, Enchilada, and Samosa, are the final six Pokemon of the challenge. They all six made it to the end. You might be thinking there's still one more fight. Yeah, but that's the last fight of the game. If I wipe to him, I'm not training up six new Pokemon. You're out of your mind. The challenge is over at Red. And there's no other battles before here in Red, except for a whole bunch of training. Which nobody's going to die because I'm very careful when I train. So, everybody, that's, that's the final six, guys. Holy crap, we actually did it. When I started this challenge, I had I never dreamed that I would actually be fighting Red one day. And the challenge is almost over, and we just defeated Blue. We did it. Nobody died. I was so scared there for a second, that dragon dance. There was a lot of things that happened, and I'm very happy with the outcome. Hello, this is Professor Oak. Oh, you don't have to say anything. I know better than anyone else how hard you're working. I thought I should get you a present or something in appreciation. Well, I picked something up, but I completely forgot to give it to you. <laughs> oh, you don't have to wonder about it at all. I know it's something that will be very helpful to you. You should just come here and pick it up. I'll be waiting for you at my laboratory in Pallet Town. No, I don't want to call my mother. Oh, great. Hey, Mom, I just, I just beat you. I just beat you, H.J. Macanto, Mom. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I didn't mean to call her, but yeah, we did it! Omelette, what do you have to say for yourself? Omelette seems feeling great. You should be. You just destroyed Blue. Like, yeah, don't forget Lasagna. Let's get Lasagna out here. Lasagna did a lot of work, too. That was excellent work, you two. Oh, my gosh. Lasagna, what do you have to say? Lasagna is smelling a nostalgic, familiar scent. Well, I don't know why. We Sure, just be happy about it. Oh, my gosh, guys, we did it. Oh, let's see what my mom bought for me. Might as well. Any more Focus Sash? Some Colber Berries. I don't really know what the Colber Berries gonna do for me. What else you got? Some Cabia Berries. Okay. Uh, what else? Anything else? Yachi Berries, yeah. You gonna give me anything worth my time, Delivery Guy? Anything at all? Some Tanga Berries. Some Pit of Tanga. Mm, it's pretty funny. What else? One more thing. Some Rindo Berries. You wasted my time, delivery man. You wasted my time. You should feel so, so bad about yourself. But that's the last time we'll ever talk to the delivery guy. Oh my gosh. All right, so why am I at the Pokemon? You might be asking. I'm buying some super repels. Let's buy like 30 of these bad boys. Mm hmm. It's going to be super great. Awesome. So we got some super repels. Why do I need 30? I don't. I probably needed like five. But this is it, guys. We did. Oh, can anybody learn rock climb? Well, well, we don't have rock climb yet. We need to go to the lab. Why do you think Professor Oak just called me? Totally not to give me the HM8 for Rock Climb, right? Nah, nah, he just wants to talk because he's lonely. No, but seriously, we just beat his grandson. Wait, Blue's his grandson. Yeah, that's right. All right, yeah, we just beat his grandson. He should be he should be ashamed in us for doing that. But yeah, um, I'm super hyped. Like, I can't express how happy I am that we did that. I was worried about that all day, and I'm so happy with the outcome. Here we are in Pallet Town. Let's go see what Professor Oak wanted. Good to see you. This is what I've wanted to give you. HMO8! Rock Climb! Oh, yeah. That hidden machine contains the move Rock Climb. When you teach it to a Pokemon, you can go up rock walls that have steps carved in them. Those badges are... Wow, you not only become the Johto Champion, but you've collected all the Kanto badges. Well done! No wonder I sensed something in you when we met. Tell you what, Chroma, I'll make arrangements so that you can go to Mount Silver. Mount Silver is a big mountain that is home to many wild Pokemon. It's too dangerous for your average trainer, so it's off limits. But we can make it an exception for you, Chroma. Go to the Pokemon League reception gate. You can reach Mount Silver from there. Okay, so... It's a big deal. Can anybody learn Rock Climb? Because if not, I'm not going to be able to take my entire team to red. Meaning we will probably lose. Nobody on this team, I think, can learn it, except for Wings. And I don't even think Wings can learn it. Well, we... I hope. I don't know what I'll do in that case. That's kind of unfortunate, because you need it to get to red. Yes! Oh, okay. Two Pokemon can learn it. All I saw was Able, and I was like, yes. Okay, so I'll teach it to one of these two. Not right now. But somebody have a Rock Climb, because we need it to be able to reach red. Which is the final battle, and that will be the next episode. Um... This episode should be going up on Friday, and um, I would like to keep on schedule and have the red episode up Monday. However, training is going to take an excessive amount of time. It took me about 30 hours to train up these six new Pokemon when I did that. 
I imagine it's going to take me longer than that to train all of these guys up to level 77 or 80. I haven't decided yet which one. I might do 80. I'm not too sure. Depends on how much I want to kill myself afterwards. But I'm going to definitely train them all up. And I don't know how long it's going to take. If everybody's trained up and ready to go, it'll be up Monday. If not, it'll be up as soon as I possibly can get it done. That's really all I can say. Um, let's go ahead and take a picture. One last picture with... Hello, this when you least expect and I am Cameron the Photographer. You look so photogenic. Why not have your picture taken? All right, then get your sales ready for the picture. <laughs> Final picture with Cameron. Smile, guys. That is the final six. Oh man, let's let's head over to Mount Silver then. Why not? And here we go. We are at Mount Silver. Oh, man, guys, we are really here. It's crazy. I'm going to go ahead and do something really quick just for some fun. I want to go ahead and look at all the Pokemon that we caught on this adventure that we didn't get to use. And let's go ahead and start off by looking at the champion box, the six Pokemon that fell. And they were our original team. We still... This is the, uh, this is the Johto team. We have Coleslaw, the Corsola, Roast, the Machamp. Bree the Quagsire, Guacamole the Executor, Gugari's the Gengar, and Gumbo the Ariados. These six have been there for the whole game, and everybody grew to love them, and they all died in the Elite Four. And I decided to train up six new Pokemon, which is the final six team you guys know and love today. Lasagna the Miss Magius, Omelet the Togekiss, Wings the Golduck, Panzanella the Blossom, Enchilada the Hitmonchan, and Samosa the Lantern. And... There were a lot of Pokemon that we didn't get to use in this adventure because we used those Pokemon and the 14 that died. And these Pokemon, by mail, of course, um, mail is first in the PC. So we have Parmentier, or Parment Parmentier, I don't know how to say that, some French food. The Sandshrew, Oyakadon, the Poliwag, Crab Cake, the Krabby, Unagi, the Dratini, Delmonico, the Rhyhorn, Pasta, the Eevee. Jerky, the Sudowoodo, Zolvia, the Ekans, Sushi, the Mantine, Flauta, the Magnemite, Spaghetti, Tangela, Mayonnaise, the Flaffy, Crepe, the Venonat, Gelato, the Horsey, Umibuddo, who almost got used until I found the Shiny Golduck, Shelter, Foe, the Tauros, who also almost got used, Jack Mac, the Zigzagoon, Scone, the Quillfish, Skippy, the Nita Reno, Acorn, the Snorlax. That is all of our male Pokemon that we didn't get to use. And our female box is a little bit more full. A lot of Pokemon here was our HM Slave for the entire game. Hekka, the Rattata. Vindaloo, the Slugma. Porkchop, the Swinub. Yorkshire, Pudding, the, the Fampy. Fettuccine, the Weedle. Venison, the Stantler. Risotto, the Hoppip. Burrito, the Coughing. Cheesecake, the Pineco, Calamari, the Tentacool, Tilapia, the Goldeen, Chom Chom, the Girafferig, Calzone, the Ditto, Elote, the Ponyta, Nabe, the Spiro, Confit, the Bellsprout, Penne, the Growlithe, Sambar, the Mr. Mime, Goulash, the Grimer, Ramen, the Pidgeotto, Marrow, the Cubone, Peanut, the Nidorina, Gyro, the Chansey, and Mounds, the Diglett. A lot of Pokemon we didn't get to use, but they all are there, and, you know, I'm pretty happy with how the teams turned out. I'm really happy with this team that I have today. And there's one more thing I want to do before we end off the episode. I'm not going to do this in the next episode, but I am going to do this now. If we go to Chroma's PC, and we go ahead and look in the photo album, you can look at every single picture that we took this entire game. And I'm going to go ahead and sign you guys out with these. I'll probably put some nice music over this, and it'll be really cool to look at all of them. 
Well, I don't know. I'd like to put some music over it, but I like to talk over it, too. I don't know. Yeah, let's talk over it. Never mind. Um, so the first picture we ever took, wow, back in the Goldenrod Tunnel, Papa Dum was still there, Gugari's Little Tiny Bree, Tiny Gumbo, we still had Meatloaf and Gyoza, and then the next picture we ended up taking, still had the same team, Bree had evolved, oh man, and still had the same team there, same team there. Same team there. Well, we took a lot of pictures with those guys. And then the next time we took a picture, uh, Gaioza and Meatloaf were no longer there with us. And we had lost them, but we added, added Taglia and Rajma. And there's Gugari's as a haunter. Wow, that's really cool. Oh, man, it's so reminiscent. It's just, it's heartbreaking to see what had happened to, throughout the whole game. But, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and sign you guys out with these. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the episode, and look at little roast and coleslaw, it's great. I hope you enjoyed the episode, and I'll catch you guys next time when, in the final episode of the Heart Gold Wedlock when we fight off against Red, the final battle of the game. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.